What's up survivors, my name is Destroyer and welcome back to my revisited playthrough of The Long Dark Winter Mute Episode 3, Crossroads of Leggy. This is part number 20. Uh, I thought I'd start this video from up here. I am just outside this cave because uh, from memory, I remember um, it's actually worth going in this, uh, in this cave to do this side mission, Tall Tales, because if memory serves... Uh, I can get a moose satchel, which will allow me to carry 10 more kilos. So I reckon it's worth it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go in here, grab the satchel, uh, make my way over to uh, Joplin's bunker here, grab as much stuff as I can. And uh, then I'll probably cut out the majority of walking because then I'll come down here, uh, grab this last survivor, walk them down here. Um, actually, maybe on second thought, because once you do that and once you've... Actually, no, it should be all right. Because there will be a cutscene that plays out after you bring the third and final survivor to uh, to Father Thomas. But uh, but I still have to supply the cupboard and stuff like that. Uh, now with this, this Tall Tales, it, it is a one and done, which is good. Now with Joplin's bunkers, there's actually three of them. So there's this one here. Uh, then the second one spawns around about here on the map. And then the third one's about here. But, uh, but I don't think I'm going to need to uh, go to all three. I should be able to get enough supplies from the one bunker. But anyway, let's jump in the cave and grab this moose satchel. And I will most likely be cutting... Oh god, it's dark. Very, very dark. I'm pretty sure I've got a lantern with enough fuel in it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be cutting out the majority of the walking. Only because that just takes quite a lot of time. And it just adds unnecessary length to the videos, in my opinion, so... Yeah, we've got stones. Should have plenty of coal down here as well. I think I've got a little bit of coal on me, from memory. Yeah, two pieces of coal. Got some matches. So, yeah, this down here is a bit of a trade-off. Um, the reason I say that is because... Oh, hang on. Actually, I think this just loops around, so I will go right. It's either that or a dead end, one or the other. But yeah, this is a bit of a trade-off because there is... Like, there's a waterfall, basically. <laughs> and uh, the, the water is freezing cold. Alright, so this circles around here. Okay. Mental note. Turn left anyway. Right. Um, yeah, so the trade-off is... you got to go into the... Um, uh, I think I have to go through here. This little tight bit. Uh, you get, like, you, you get really, really cold, and your froze are, like, uh, your clothes are, like, frozen, basically, automatically. This here, right here, right? <laughs> so, what I mean by trade-off is, um, it's worth going in there, because you only get stupid wet, but then, of course, you have to come back out. But, uh, but I reckon it's 100% worth it, so, uh, let's just get this over and done with. There we go. Hypothermia risk straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can pop that down. I'll try not to forget that. We'll get a fire going. Uh, yeah, okay. I got a couple of accelerants, which is nice. Okay, we got a little bit of fuel. What have we got? Some fir wood. I don't plan on being in here for too, too long. Two, two hours and 42 minutes will be enough. Okay, we got a can. No, I don't, don't want that. We've already got a can opener. Let's be prepared for anything. Okay, I will take that granola bar. Now, one of these corpses have got the moose satchel. Right there, moose hide satchel. So that adds 20, uh, 10 kilos, which is great. Hunting knife, I will grab that. So we should have 40 now, yeah, which is good. I am a little bit overburdened because I am a bit tired because before I started recording, I did make my way. Might as well show you on the map. Obviously, from here, I made my way up here. I found a couple of wolves, killed one, uh, harvested his meat, cooked it, had a feed, and just continued along this road here and uh, made my way to there. So now I am here. <laughs> so yeah, after I, um, after I leave this cave, I will jump here, jump down here. Actually, maybe I might actually sleep here. Only because if you look at my weight, yeah, I'm pretty close to 10 kilos already, so... But while I am up this, you know, top part of the map, I will go there while I'm here, so... Okay. 
I am going to leave the energy drinks behind. Uh, because, yeah, in my opinion, they're not really worth it. Um, I think there's another flare around here, so I will grab that. Yeah, another marine flare. Grab that. Break my leg. Get stuck on scenery. Oh, you are kidding me. There we go. <laughs> uh, that was nearly automatic regret then. Okay, we do have... Actually, how's our hunger? Not too bad. Now, how's our clothing, actually? It's pretty wet. Uh, the best way to dry your clothes in this game from memory is actually to take it off and then sit by a fire. So, hmm. I'm still tinkering the idea of actually staying here tonight. I mean, it is approaching dark anyway. But I will set up the old, uh... Thing. Bedroll. <laughs> My mind went blank for a second there. So yeah, if you see that, the top right hand corner, it is approaching dark. It's going to be dark pretty soon. I don't want to be this part of the map in the dark because it's going to be much colder than that as well. Okay, so I've checked you guys. Didn't make it, unfortunately. Okay, there was a little bit of food here and some alcohol. Hmm. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, I think I've still got some meat left over, actually. Get out of that. Oh, yeah, got plenty of meat. Okay, that I'm actually going to drop. Eat that up. Obviously, drop some weight. Have a drink. There we go. Okay, I might add... You know what, I'm just going to... No. No, 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 no. I want to add fuel to the fire. Stop clicking on the cooking slot. I'm just going to dump everything I've got in here. And then sleep. Okay. Right. Actually, double check. I'm full. I'm not thirsty. I'm pretty tired. I'm warming up nicely. Feels like 57 degrees Celsius. Wow. Uh... Oops, I forgot to <laughs> set the duration. I don't want to sleep for an hour. It's kind of stupid. Uh, okay, we've got six and a half hours on the fire. But let's sleep for... Let's try for ten. Might not be able to sleep for a, a solid ten hours, but... I just want to get it back to, uh, to daytime. That a fire's gone out, but it'll still be nice and warm in here anyway. Okay, daylight is approaching. I think that's good enough. Let's pick that up. Now, the only problem is I'm going to be stupid cold again. Uh, once I go through. So, uh, you know what? Let's equip that now. I would use the flare, but they're a tad too loud. So. Alright. Actually, let me quickly check my status of my clothes. I think they're all dry, but... Yeah. <laughs> they're about to get... Wait again. Oh, so cold. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done that. Dumped all my uh, fire fuel into that fire because now I have to warm up again. Um, are you still crouching? Yes, you are. Can you stand up? Thank you. Because normally I would start another fire. At the entrance to the cave, but yeah. Uh, there may be oh yeah, some coal in here, so maybe we can. Um, I wonder if there's any more sticks in here. Oh yeah, there's a stick. More coal, dead end. Luckily, it's uh, warm in here anyway. Okay, that's the way I came. Let's go this way. Because we went right, right, didn't we? On the way in. Now I'm getting lost. <laughs> Oh dear. Ah, oh, up here. There we go.
Okay. Nope. Didn't want that. I want uh, want to get a fire going, please. And now, do we have one one accelerant? Yeah, let's do it. Desperate times, man. I need a warm up ASAP. Dump it all in there. Oh yeah. Pretty frozen. Actually, no, they're not frozen. 94% wet. 89% wet. 91% wet. You know what's interesting, though? My boots are 88% wet, but my socks are dry as a bone. <laughs> uh, I find that kind of funny. Anyway, I did pick this up. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's wear that. It's nice and dry. Okay, looking good. Tall tails. Oh, there is more to this. Investigate the tall tales you find in books around Pleasant Valley, but we haven't f found any of those other books, so, okay. But I'm not going to pursue that. Uh, the plan, actually, now, guys, is to finish this episode uh, in the next video. So, and when I say episode, I mean episode three, Crossroads of Logic, only because it feels like I've been playing this episode for ages. Uh, and I kind of have because I had like a two to three month hiatus on this game. I didn't play it for about two to three months. So that would obviously add on time. But yeah, this feels to me that this episode's dragging on forever. So, right. Uh, I kind of want to get them down a bit. One thing we could do is um, move that out the way. I'll chuck down the bedroll and uh, play cards while my clothes dry. Good way of passing some what the? Pass some time. There we go. Um, can I put that close enough, please? There we go. So yeah, we'll do it an hour at a time. I'll do anything for a drink right now. Okay. Well, we'll have a drink. Got plenty of water. Uh, on the walk up to this cave, I did find uh, some rifle ammo, which was nice. Um, and I think I found some um, jerky or something I oh, know this this uh, energy bar and a soda that was about all I found but at least I found some more ammo because I am running pretty low but uh, from memory there's plenty of ammo in uh, Joplin's bunkers so that'll be fine all right how are we wet wise 58 32 okay I reckon we'll chill for like another hour I don't really care about that being wet, to be honest. I do care about the clothing, though. Alright. Alright, one more hour, then we'll... We'll push on to the bunker. Feels like 63... Oh, I forgot about that. Never fear. Uh, off camera as well, I found some... Uh, lantern ore right here. Nearly two litres, so... Yeah, where is it? There we go. I want to refuel, refuel that, please. Cool. Uh, not that I really need it right now, anyway. But okay. Yeah, uh, that's still a little bit wet. Forty-two percent. Got an hour on the fire. You know what? One more hour. Okay, 27%. That's going to have to do. Um, I will put that away because we won't need it. Looks like it's nice and bright outside. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we want to chuck a right. Yeah, there was a backpack down there as well. Uh, that's where I found the rifle ammo, just down there by the lake river, whatever th that is. Uh, from memory as well, uh, this bunker is basically up. <laughs> so, I think I might start heading up. I know it's not exactly here, but actually, no, I might walk around. Walk in between the mountains here. And then start to ascend. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not on top of there or anything. It is quite accessible, but it's not exactly down here. 
Anyway, let's run. <laughs> run for your life. Wonder if any more wolves want to play ball. Yeah, I think, yeah, you just wrap around there. Ooh, actually, while I see this, I'm going to grab the old man's beard. Uh, it's a bit windy. Grab that because we can uh, craft those into... Uh, what do you call it? Another mind blank uh, bandages. <laughs> That's the thing. Now, I think it's... Above me? I think it's just up there. So I'll quickly check these ruins. Okay, we've got a stove. Got a little, what is this, a toilet? Can't get in there. Oh, there's the bunker there. Alright, might put the rifle away. Hey! Find a journal hidden in the vent. I forgot about the earthquakes. <laughs> so yeah, there should be plenty of supplies in here. Wonder if the owner's around here. Actually, I just wanted to quickly check my weight. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got a little under 8 kilos. A little over. Snow pants, I will grab them. I'm going to leave the purifying tablets. I am going to leave that flare. Don't think I need it. I've got plenty of flares. Hope nobody needs this anymore. So the main thing I'm gunning for is chips, lantern fuel like that. Uh, speaking of, let's... No, that's the wrong key. I want to get the lantern going. It is a tad dark in here. Don't want my videos looking too shit on good old YouTube. I'll take it. Matches. Uh, I see some antibiotics there. And she stim. More lantern fuel. And yeah, there's a rifle cleaning kit. Well, this stuff will come in handy. More ammo. I love it. Uh, I just want to quickly check. Do I have a rifle cleaning kit? I do. Okay. Uh, I'll leave that there. I won't need that. There's some more revolver ammo. No, actually, I don't want that flare. Uh... Yeah, see, I don't, I don't need all these flares because they don't add to anything. Like back at the cupboard, at the hall, I'll chuck them in there. Don't need two knives either, either. So, same goes with the blue flares. I might just keep two on me at all times. Uh, that is three liters. You know what? Let's dump that in there. Uh, okay. All right. Ammo. Obviously, ammo will come in handy. There is Forest Talker collectible. Um, I will pull that up. If you guys want to read it, I will read it off camera, but pause the read. There we go. That was part three. Does that mean I've missed the first two parts? I do not know. This will come in handy. No, it won't. Oh, I'll come in handy for leather, but we're not exactly playing survival mode, are we? So, we get plenty of food. Plenty of water, coffee water. Oh, there's a forest talker bag. Don't need that. I'll take that. Don't need that. Yeah, we got some leather. I'll take it. Ooh, condensed milk. That'll be good. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab that. Might do some repairs while I'm down here. Fishing tackle. The scrap metal I'll leave behind. There's the vent. Okay, let's read this. Joplin's journal. A storm's coming. No man knows when, but I can smell it. Can't stop it. All a man can do is hide out while it blows over. Cool. So, yep, there's a second bunker. Like I said, I'll probably ignore that. I think I've got enough supplies now. Uh, if I find that I do not, I can always come back off camera. 
if I pull up the map, the second location is like, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Yeah, it's a, all the way over here. Which isn't too bad. Actually, maybe I should check that out. I don't know. Supplies-wise, I'll, I'll check it out. My stomach is rumbling. I need something to eat. Okay. Uh, let's have an MRE. That is very filling, the MREs. I might wash that down with some... Uh, look at that, I haven't even eaten it all. Have a soda. Try and drop a little bit of weight. Because we are nearly at that 40 kilo max mark. Which I'm probably not thirsty, am I? Oh no, a little bit. Okay. Uh, they're empty, they're empty. Gonna leave the energy drink. Like I said, they're good. Because they give you a burst of energy for like 10 minutes. But then you get like a rotten headache afterwards, so... And uh, what's the condition Nobody of that lantern? 93%. That is 65. Hmm. You know what? It doesn't really matter, but I will take this one. Uh, let's refuel you. Got plenty of lantern fuel now, so that's fine. Okay, let's pull up weapons and get everything reloaded, ready to go. I'm just trying to think weight-wise. I should probably kill two birds with one stone here. And get this third and final survivor on the way back to the community hall. Because it would make a bit more, bit more sense. Instead of going back to the community hall, backtracking again. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Like I said, weight-wise, I am under. I am getting close, but I am under. So, right. Okay, so that's all reloaded, ready to go. Let's reload the rifle. And I think that was everything down here. Everything that I want. So we've got lots of ammo now. Okay. Make sure the flare gun is reloaded, which it is. Alright. Let's head back. Well, let's head to the uh, survivor now. Um, I probably will cut out a lot of the walking. Let's see how far is it. Oh, actually. Actually, where am I? Oh, there. I'm right there. Actually, now I might keep this in. Why not, eh? Okay. Let's equip the rifle just in case some wolves want to come say hello. Now, I think the best path back... Because I don't know if we can get through there. The most sensible thing to do, maybe, is to get down to this river, lake, whatever it is. Walk across that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it is a little cold out here, but look at it. Minus seven, it's not too bad. I know I shouldn't be sprinting around everywhere, but, you know, I never learned my lesson. Okay, I won't grab any sticks. I think I should be good. Ah, oh, but then again, I may have to start a fire. Uh, quick check. Okay, I could start a fire in a pinch. So if I, yeah, I might pick up a few sticks just in case. Uh, but then again, the survivor will have a fire as well, so should be okay. But I don't think sticks way much. Nah. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to try and scoot my way down there. Oh, there's a cabin there, actually. Hang on. Pretty sure I've been in this cabin. Empty. Yeah, I have. I've been in here. Now, I'm a little tired. Mm, I was thinking about maybe having an hour's sleep or something, but... That might be pointless at, at the moment. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I should probably just push on. Right, 
Alright, so I can head right. Hopefully there's a gap down there. And then again, it looks like it should be okay to drop down here as well. I know I'm going to get tired very quickly by running, but... I don't really have time to waste, you know. Both in-game and in real life. Okay. It's like a little maze down here. Oh, it's actually warm here. Look at my temperature. It's one arrow up. Oh, now it's one arrow down. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, actually, is there a way through here? Uh, dead end. Great. But that was a waste of time. Cool, man. Don't break your ankle. Um, okay. Uh, if memory serves the third and final survivor, well, depending on what order you do choose to uh, grab them, but um, with this one in particular, I think from memory, this area is like there's lots of trees. And I think a bear can spawn there as well, so I've got to be a little bit careful. And the reason I mention that is because, like, the whole trees thing. Yeah, see, look at that. It's just a bunch of trees. Uh, should I risk scooting down here? I love it how I ask the question as I'm doing it. Should I do it? Well, yeah, I'm already doing it. Good work. I might crouch, just some... Um, there's less chance of uh, sprinkles or sprinkles. <laughs> well, no, what is it? Spriss and sprinkles. Which is uh, a sprained ankle and a sprained spritz. A sprained wrist. <laughs> okay. I thought that was a person then. Like you what, mate? Okay. Uh, yeah, I might pull out the old flare gun. See if this will actually work. Because the last... Well, if you've been watching the last couple of videos... Well, the last video anyway... Those two survivors I found without even setting off a, uh, the flare gun. Well, I did. I shot one shot. I, sh I set one flare off. But uh, the survivor didn't send one back. <laughs> I just found it by chance because I saw the smoke from his fire. So, but yeah, basically dead ahead now. Actually, I better not run because it's going to take all my strength to... Uh, to carry the survivor back. Okay. So I have to go right. Mm. Yeah, because I think they're amongst these trees here. Yeah. I know, I know. I'll say, ah, oh, i got to stop doing this, got to stop doing that. Next minute, I'm doing it. That's just the way I work, man. I'm weird. Yeah, amongst these trees here, like I said, there is a chance of a bear spawn here, so... Um, actually, I think they're around these rocks. Let's, um... Let's find out. Yeah, I can see their fire. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to run, because there may be a bear. Hey, thanks for us uh, shooting the flare off, though. I appreciate it. Ah, might warm up here for a sec. Keep a lookout for a bear. You never know. Like, I don't think it, it spawns every single time, but there is a chance of a bear spawning. Thought I saw something move over there, but no. Hey, Ava. 
Why aren't you saying anything, Astrid? Normally, look, okay? normally you say things. I've done what I can. All right, so two blokes, and now I'm saving a chick. Come with me. Easy does it. I haven't got time to waste. Okay, so we are underweight, which is good. That's why it's 100% worth uh, going through that really cold water to get the moose satchel. Okay, basically straight down that way. We will most likely come across more wolves, but uh, but that's the name of the game, isn't it? Everywhere. Um, I don't think there's anything worth grabbing here, but I'll take a quick quick look while I'm here. Okay, there's some wood. Not really going to need it, but... Yeah. Nothing worth my time. I can hear a bear over there. <laughs> I can't see it, but I can hear it. That's why I was quiet for a second there. I'm like, can I hear something? Yep, that's a bear. I just can't see the big bastard. And I don't really want to hang around to see him, so... Bye, bear. Thanks for being invisible. <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from that way. So yeah, fingers crossed I've got enough to uh, uh, finish off the fetch, fetch quest that I'm currently on as well. So I think I have to add like six bandages, which I've got plenty. I've got plenty of cloth, so I can always uh, craft some bandages. I'm pretty sure I've got enough gasoline. Not gasoline. Kerosene. And so the only thing I really need to get now is fire supplies, I think. And maybe some more food. I, I only needed... I think I only need around about 500 calories worth of food. So that's not much. Which is good. Of course. Of course. Let's get over here. Or it's rather flat. Alright. I'm going to have to drop you over. Where are they? Are they behind me? Yeah, I think so. They like to circle you. Hang on, Ava. There we go. I'm right here. Oh, you run away like little bitches, huh? Come on, come back so we can finish this. I keep forgetting you can't jump in this game. Headshot, baby. What the hell? Get wrecked. Are you immune to bloody rifle ammo? <laughs> okay, how am I real quickly? Am I bleeding? No, I'm not. Cool. Come back. Got a present for you. Rifle shell casing. I think you can actually craft your own ammo in this. I mean, he's eventually going to bleed out anyway, but... I want that, uh... Timberwolf packed bar to, uh, go away. Because they're just going to keep coming back. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe they've ran away. For good. Yeah, now I'm tired. But anyway, Ava. 22%. Shit, do you need a drink? I'm gonna check you over. Actually, you don't look thirsty. Ba oh shit! Bandage. Oops. Well, that should be better. Ah, she got bitten. I actually did not know that. Let's see what's wrong here. Let me just double check. You don't need water now. Okay. All right, onward, Ava. Let's go. No way around this. Okay, so I want to head this direction. Yeah. Okay. 
See, this is the annoying thing now. That meter down below there, that's going to stay there forever now. Because <laughs> just before I started recording, uh, some wolves tried to attack me. And uh, they ran away. But the, the bar was still there. So... Actually, I have to quickly check that back. The start of the video. I can't remember if it disappeared or not, but it was there for a while anyway, that's my point. And as you can see, it's still there right now. Okay, what are we looking at temperature-wise? Minus three. Yeah, those bulls don't want any more action, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the smoke from the community hall. Yeah, it must be. It's actually a lot closer to the community hall than I remember. I wonder if Ava is at 22%. Because she's the last one, last survivor to grab. You sound pretty good. You sound relatively healthy. There's a bunny. Frolicking in the snow. There's another one. Now, of course, because... Like I said, I want to finish this episode up ASAP. Uh, which I can do the final sequence in the mine in the next part, in part 21. Um, but let me know now, guys. Do you want to see me do any more of these side missions? Because uh, I do have... I'll pull up the map. I do have that church artifact one going as well. Uh, if you don't care about side missions, that's fine. I'm just happy to uh, do the main storyline. Get the mine, main story quest finished. Okay, we're nearly home. Ava, it's all good. Yeah, look at her condition. It's actually pretty bad. Whereas I'm well fed. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. So yeah, let me know. Let me know some things in the comments, guys. Even if you want me to go check out uh, Joplin's bunker number two. But to, to be honest, apart from filling up the cupboards and stuff in here, I really don't need any other supplies because it's basically, it's literally the end of the episode when I go through the mine. So, like, you don't need wood supply, uh, fire supplies, you don't need food, you don't need this, you don't need that, you know, so. That's why I find it kind of pointless checking out the other bunkers because it's just stuff you don't need. Please. All right, Ava, check it out. Just in time. Alright, put you down here. Boom. Rest your head on that pillow. It looks like a rock. <laughs> it, looks, it looks rock hard, those pillows. Alright, locate and return the missing survivors. I think we have to talk to uh, Barbara Thomas in a second. Um, but first, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, so... Antiseptic. Uh, okay, we're going to need some more antiseptic. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, food. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um, okay, food's done, so I can stop putting stuff in there. But I will put these in there because they're old and crappy anyway. Uh, you can have the stims. Don't like the stims. You can have the dog food. Uh, I might keep one can just in case. I'm keeping the MRIs. MRIs? The MREs, rather. Uh, what else do I have to put in there, actually? Bandages, right. Um, got four. Okay, old man's B. 
beard. That's another thing I collected, wasn't it? Yep, there we go. Uh, that did... No, cancel that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't actually turn him into dressings. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, firewood. No, it's just transfer it all, dude. Yeah, you can have that, that. Transfer all of those matches. Like I said, not really going to need them. So, yeah, we still need some firewood, so. Uh, but what I'll probably do is grab those supplies off camera. Because uh, there's some fire stuff just down there across the road. Um, I think I've got a cutscene with you now, dude. Is that right? Wide out. You're making good progress. Your efforts are making a difference. But there's still work to be done. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Do you know why? Because I... Yeah. Because the cutscene happens when... Um, oh, actually, I'll grab that coal. And books. What the hell? I've got a bunch of fire supplies down here. I don't really want the arrow, but it's in the way. Antiseptic. Gonna put that in there. Um, yeah, because I haven't <laughs> finished everything off yet. I'm a fool. What do we got here? Flares. Okay. Oh. What? There's bandages on the table. Completely missed them. Okay. Okay, one more. Um, but I can quickly get that done with a man's... Old man's beard dressing. Right, firewood. We'll just dump everything that we've got, obviously. Or fire supplies. Not wood, but... Now, the only thing I don't really have is a hatchet. I'm still going to need... Yeah, look at that. That's going to be the big one. Uh, Kerosene. I've got that, haven't I? There we go. Bandages. I picked up a couple more. I can craft them. So it's just the old man's beard, which uh, I think it's from here, the crafting menu. There we go. Now we only need one, so which is kind of lucky because I've only got one. Okay, yeah, so it's just firewood now. Um, Let's, ch uh, you know what, let's just go because I want to get this done in this in this video so there's no point mucking around now the only problem is I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to need a hatchet for these pellets yeah okay what about um oh, well, we can go on the look on the hunt for for wood um, actually, there might be things we can break down. There is a house up here. I don't think there's any wood in Thompson's Market. I'll quickly check out the house up here. Surely we can break down some chairs and stuff. Now, that house there you can't get into. But I think it's all boarded up. Yeah, can't get in that one. But you can get in this one. Okay, I've already searched that. Actually, don't don't remember being in here. Oh, I have though. It's been searched. That's empty. Okay. Right, chair. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need a hatchet for everything. Ooh, that is so annoying. You know what? I bet you there was a hatchet in Joplin's bunker. And I completely missed it. Well, it looks like we're uh, gunning for wood here from nature. Three sticks? Oh, okay, ten minutes. We're tired and stuff, but we're not far from the uh, from the community hall. Oh, here we go. This is what we want. Can I break that down? No, of course I can't. I thought you could break smaller... Uh, branches down 
Eh, yeah, okay, that's a bit annoying. I don't think there's anything in there. There might be some wood laying around the back or something. Have I searched this car? Yes, I have. But guys, on second thought, what I think I might do is actually... I'll go back to the community hall and I'll end this video. Uh, and off camera, I'll grab um, the rest of the wood. I might go on a hunt for... Uh, or a hatchet. I bet you there's one in Joplin's thingamajiggy over here. Like, it's not too far to go, but... Yeah. I don't know. I think I'd rather just do that off camera, to be honest. Because, like I said in the next video, part 21, I want to uh, end the episode. Get the hell out of Dodge, as they say. But, uh, but yeah, I'll quickly jump inside and do my outro. But guys, let me know in the comments if you're still enjoying the playthrough so far. Uh, let me know if you played The Long Dark, what your thoughts are on the game as a whole. I love it. It's my second favorite survival game ever. I reckon it's a fantastic game. But also let me know, let me know in the comments, guys, if, uh, if you're like me and you're looking forward to the release of Episode 5. But guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified of every single upload. And I'll catch you in Part 21. Adios.